Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So as you can see from the thumbnail itself, in this video we are going to discuss about Azure DevOps CI CD pipeline. So here we are going to deploy Python based web application on Azure web app container with the help of Terraform. So first we will understand this particular architecture because our pipeline configuration will be based on this particular architecture. So let's start. So as you can see from uh, this particular architecture, I have included many components. So I will explain you one by one. So if you can see here the user or dev, so it's, it's nothing, it's just a desktop machine or an end user which is going to write a code for your application. And next we have a Azure repos. So in Azure repos, I have added three symbols here basically. So one is the repository branch symbol. Another one I have added as a infrastructure as a code which is Terraform. And third one I have added as a Azure storage account. So why I have added here Azure storage account I will explain you. So here basically two things as per the diagram you can see we are going to store Terraform configuration and source code on the Azure repo git. And why I have added here Azure storage account because we are going to store Terraform state file on the Azure storage account for the safety purpose. And for the security concerns, we always use a secure backend to store our Terraform config, uh, Terraform backend files. Because if something goes wrong, you you can you can lose your all the infrastructure. Because in Terraform, all the all the infrastructure basically based on your state file. So it's it's a good practice. Always use any uh, secure backend for your Terraform state file. Next, we, you can see here we have build pipeline. So here we, I have added two tasks. Build and push because we are going to use a docker image to publish this source code or publish an application as a docker uh, image. So I have added here build pipeline and again in build pipeline I have a two tasks. Build and push image and another one we have a publish terraform file as a pipeline artifact. So build and push image why we are using because if we are going to use uh, our source code as a docker image then we have to push that particular docker image to some of the registries. So I am going, I'm going to use here Azure container registry. So as soon as build pipeline will be triggered, build pipeline will build the source code and publish the image on the Azure container registries and this particular task pipe published terraform file as a pipeline artifact we are going to use because on the release pipeline we are going to create our resources on the azure cloud so for that we need a terraform configuration file so in the demo i will sh i will show you then you will maybe you will get uh, more and more clarity on this particular task then we have a release pipeline so again this release pipeline will be linked to a artifact which we have published from the build pipeline so if you can see here release our release pipeline the first thing is we have to add a artifact which is we are which we are going to deploy or use in the release pipeline and next we have a i have a here two environment dev environment and queue environment so for dev environment before explain the dev and queue environment there is a azure storage account because as I, I have already discussed here we are going to store the state file on the azure storage account now in the dev environment and queue environment all the tasks are same so if you can see here on the dev environment we have a one two three four five actually there are seven jobs so let me uh, tell you first so first thing what we are going to do from release pipeline we are going to uh, create our resources on the azure cloud with the help of terraform configuration files which we have checked in in the azure repo so once we, we will trigger this particular task then it will create azure uh, resources for us and then we are going to create uh, these three tasks like app service auto scale and then web app and then alert also so these things we will see in the pipeline demo and the, all the similar tasks remain same in queue environment as well 
and here I have added a uh, approvals. So once the deployment will be successful on dev environment, then it will pass to the two particular queue environment and dev environment, destroyed and dev environments. So this, if you can see in the title here, I have added as a one click deployment. So sometimes what happened uh, in many of the developer development environment, we want to test some resources for an hour or two. So for that, we need to create our resources to test particular things. So on that particular scenario, we want to test our application and after testing, we also want to destroy our application. So that's why I have added here the one more stage like destroy dive environment. So as soon as if you if you know, will not approve this particular stage, then it will remain as a it, then it will uh, it will not perform any action on your pipeline and you can simply pass to, to the queue environment and from again the queue environment all the task remain same which we will more discuss on the pipeline demo and then again we have a destroy queue environment so it's this is that's why i have mentioned as a one click deployment so you have to nothing you have to do you have to simply check in your code on your repo and it will automatically trigger a build pipeline for you then it will push the artifact on the release pipeline and it will deploy the resources on the Azure cloud. So I hope it's clear. If not, then we will again see all these things in the pipeline demo. So let me move to the another slide. So here I have make a list of component or services. So here is the list of service which are using for this particular project. So Azure repos. We are using Azure, Azure repos as a source code management. Then we have a Azure pipeline, which we already discussed. Then we are using library. So library we are using to create a variable group to store the information of variables, which we are going to use in the Terraform configuration file. Then we have a Azure storage account. So we are using Azure storage account as a backend for the Terraform state files. Next, we are using container registry, Azure container registry to store the images then we have a app service plan because we are going to create a web app or your web app app service so to create a app service first we need a app service plan then uh, azure container app service which i have already discussed so under the app service plans app service we we have to create like you cannot create a app service without app service plan so app service plan is a kind of a group and below that you create your app services then we have a auto scale which which we which we will also going to create so auto scales azure is a feature that automatically adjusts the number of instances or resources in app service based on the rule or matrix so like we have mentioned uh, if my instance or my web app is goes to this particular percentage of cpu right 90 percent then i want to increase the number of two or three of my web app instance so those things we can uh, configure with the help of auto scale then we have a alerts so with the help of alerts we will get the notification about our app service and we can take required actions so as soon as auto stay auto scale will be triggered you will get an email so you will be aware okay so my cpu percentage for this particular web app Cross the limit which we which you have specified a threshold which you which uh, threshold you have defined that you it already crossed. So accordingly your configuration it will create the number of instances for you. Next we have a Terraform so we are using Terraform to create the infrastructure. So these are the component or services which I am going to use in this particular demo. Next services which are not managed by Terraform. So there are two services which I am not creating with the help of Terraform which basically I have created as a manually because uh, if you see Azure storage account so we, for to create a to run the Terraform as soon, uh, for example if you run the Terraform configuration on your local machine it will automatically create a state file it will store a, a create a state file on your local system as so to avoid those things i have already created a azure storage account in initially to configure the backend to use the backend and store the state files on the storage account next we are going to use azure container registry so for build pipeline i have configured you can also create a container registry from a pipeline itself but in a build pipeline i am not going to create any kind of resources i am going to create all the resources in the release pipeline 
so that's why i have created the azure container registry in the like in the like without terraform and so i can use this container registry in the build pipeline to push the image on the container registry next azure devops service connections so these are the two service connection which i have to create in azure devops so azure service connections is required for authentication and docker registry service connection required for container registry authentication so these two service connections i have already created so these all of the all these things we are going to uh, discuss in the pipeline demo so let me move to the azure portal so i am on my azure devops portal so here you can see i have these organizations learn azure these three organization i have so under this first organization i have a project called azure devops so the first thing you have to do if i go back to my ppt you can see here first we have to create a service connection for the authentication to the azure cloud and the docker registry service connection so those first you have to create a, these two service connections on your uh, in azure devops so how you will create those service connections so simply you will go to your project and you can go to your project settings and if you come down on the pipeline section you can see a service connections you as you can see i have a two service connection here acr connection which is which i am going to use for azure container registry and the another one i have a test subscriptions which i am going to use for the azure authentication purpose so it's a very simple if you have to create so you just simply go to new service connection and you can choose uh, for example azure resource manager okay let me minimize my window <clears throat> next now you can you need to select authentication method if you are going to create a service principal manage identities then first thing you have to go to azure cloud or if you don't have a access complete like admin kind of access or subscription level access then what you can or ad is basically ad level access then first thing you have to ask your uh, who is going to manage your azure cloud you have you we, he will share the details like service principal tenant id client id client secrets so all those things he will share with you if you don't have permission on the ad then once you got those things then you can create a uh, authentication using the service principal or or sim same similarly for manage identity so you have to create first you have to create a app registration on the azure cloud under your subscription so this is the first thing which either you have to do or or your cloud azure cloud administrator will provide you all those details so you can use in your pipeline so that's how you can create a service connection for uh, azure and uh, azure container registry now let me go back to my repo so this is the application this is a simple python based flask app which i'm going to use here so i'm not going to explain anything about code so i'm going to use a docker file so let me okay first let me okay so let me explain you the docker file first so this is the simple docker file which i am going to use so if you can see start by pulling the python image so this python image i am going to use because as soon as you will push this image on your azure web app container it will start fetching all these things like first it will fetch the image then it will copy this the, if you can see here the second task we have to copy the requirements so to execute or to run this particular application what all the things you needed on that machine where you are going to host your application so if i go if i go to requirement.txt file so these three things is required for my application to work so the first is a flask then we have a flask sql alchemy so it's nothing it flask sql alchemy it flask is a module basically and sql alchemy uh, is kind of a database which the db module or in other words you can see in python and this is a flask login which we are going to use so basically i'm not going to much detail on these things so these are the requirement you have to specify based on your uh, code which which you are going to you use in your pipeline so so in docker file what i am doing i am just copying this particular file on this particular location and if you can see i have creating here app underscore requirement dot text and here if you can see i have on a root label this particular file requirement dot txt 
so this file i'm just copying it then i'm switching the directory to this particular directory where i have the requirement.txt file and i'm running uh, i'm installing all the requirements which i have specified in the requirement.txt file so this is the simple uh, python command which we use to install the requirements and uh, this is a command which we have to run on your container so these are the things which i have specified in the uh, docker file now we will see a uh, pipeline okay i'll come to the pipeline part later in the build pipeline let me first explain the terraform things so if you can see uh, in terraform i have three files it's always good practice you can separate your providers in a single file variables in a separate file and the main configuration configuration on a separate file so that's why i have mentioned here you can also use like i'm using variable.tf file you can also use uh, .tf var files so i'll first i'll go to provider.tf file so in provider because i'm going to use uh, azure cloud so that's why i have used as a azure rm as a provider and these are the client id client secret and tenant id and subscription id those details <coughs> i have uh, like i have made as a variable because it's not a good practice to hard code anything on your repo for a security concern so you have to store all these things either in a azure key vault storage you can use, key vault you can use or a pipeline or a sorry a variable group you can use so, so i'm using in this particular demo a variable group i'll come to that part also so this is nothing the simple provider files and i have make i have like uh, basically uh, not hard coded it's a, it's a i have specified as a variable next we have variable files so these are the all the variables which i am going to use in my pipeline so the first one is variable location resource group name os type because you have to specify what kind of web app you want to spin up like it either windows linux and the sk sku name so all client id client secrets so what i will do i will uh, put all this source code in the github and i will uh, mention the github link in the description as well on this particular video so all these variables i have specified so as per your requirement you can change or add more uh, variables so these are the variables i have declared in this particular file and this is the main configuration file webapp.tf let me open in the bs core editor so this is the required provider it will be required because you are using going to use terraform in the azure devops so this is required provider you have to specify backend i am using terraform as a backend you can like if you have a uh, different cloud like aws or gcp so accordingly you can specify your backend here now in the next thing what i am going to do i am going to create a azure web app plan so here i have special resources as azure rm underscore service underscore plan and this is the local name and this is the name location so all these details basically you can find in the terraform documentation and what i have done i have all these things i have make it as a variable so and all the variables i have declared in the variables.tf file so these uh, these are the things which i am going to use for azure web app plan and next i am going to create a azure web app service because to create a azure web app service first you have to create a app service plan plan so under this uh, app, app, app service i am going to use name location resource group and app service plan id so if you can see here now i am not using any variable things here because these details i have already specified here variable dot rg underscore name so now what i am going to use i am going to use this particular resource type and the local name in the resource group name if you can see azure rm underscore service underscore plan dot web app plan dot resource this particular name basically so as soon as it will fetch the variable from here it will automatically fetch the uh, variable value on this particular app service plan as app service as well okay so next we have a site config so when you create a app service you have to create a lot of configurations inside uh, your web app so these things i will sh uh, show you when i will 
deploy the application on the cloud then it will be uh, more clear like where basically these configuration file is required like these are the app settings <coughs> sorry so app settings again this is a because we are going to use azure container registry then we have to specify all the urls username and password so these things i have already used so this complete part is going to create a app service for you and here i have specified the output variable as well because i want to know what's the my web app name which we will be create as part of the release pipeline so you there is no need to go to azure cloud and you have to check okay this particular app service is created from this particular uh, pipeline because if you see uh, if you have n number of uh, application web app on your azure cloud then it will be quite difficult to find out so it's always a good practice to output that uh, resources which you which you are going to create as output so you can see the detail in the uh, release log itself so there is no need to go to uh, azure cloud next we have a output okay this i have already discussed so next we, i'm going to create a azure auto scale based on the cpu percentage so as we have already discussed in the slide this particular things will be used if my web app low threshold will be high based on my configuration so if you can see here this is the profile basically you have to create a profile so i am going to create a default profile and default number like default always i want the one instance as a default in my application and the minimum i want also one and maximum two so based on the threshold it will increase or decrease the resources for your application so this you can modify as per your requirement and these are the rules based on this particular rules it will create scale or scale up or scale down the instances for you so i have a specific matrix name is cpu percentage if my cpu percentage is more than five percent then it will increase the count of one and similarly for scale down if my cpu threshold is more than sorry less than uh, 80 percent then decrease the count by one decrease change count by one so all these things uh, i have specified as a rule and now in the coming to alert part so this is the alerts as soon as this auto scale uh, action will be start you will get an email alert so i hope it's clear i will put all these configurations file in the github as well so you can have a look or you can uh, give a try from your own now okay so i think uh, it's quite clear on the repo sites nothing more i am using here so just docker file and this terraform configuration file and this azure pipeline.ml file i have not discussed i will discuss in the pipeline itself now i'll move to the pipeline things so this is my uh, build pipeline here so here i have triggered as a main if anything is checked in on my main branch it will automatically trigger the pipeline and these are the con variables container registry service connection stabilized during the pipeline creation so these are the docker registry things which i have specified here so my image repository name this one container registry this one if i'll go back to my uh, azure cloud so this is my container registry my python acr31098 so this is my container registry and this is the image repositories python app docker so if i'll go to repository here so this is my repository name you can also uh, parameterize these things as well and next we have a agent vm image name so vm image i am going to use uh, u12 as a os on my web app so this and now i have in the coming to the stages part so i have a two stage build and okay i have only one stage build so in this under this particular stage build i have a one task build and push image so nothing it's just simply uh, building your docker and build your source code and push your docker image 
on the container registry and next we have a ta another task archive files so i'm because we need a terraform configuration file on the release pipeline so we need uh, these terraform configuration files should be published as an artifact so we can use in the release pipeline so i'm just simply nothing i'm doing to archiving the con uh, terraform configuration file and i'm publishing as a word artifact so let me uh, run this pipeline okay before running okay let me run this party line uh, particular uh, pipeline if i go here python app docker i have two images here one double seven and one double seven eight so let me run it first okay will wait for a minute or two meantime it will be completed okay so pipeline is build pipeline is completed let me go here just refresh it so now i have a new image 179 here and uh, we will see the artifact which is published so if you can see in the drop location i have a zip file where i have my terraform configuration file so this particular file uh, we are going to use in the release pipeline so now before moving to the release pipeline things i am because in terraform configuration file if i'll go back to here we don't have any data here like detail apps or resource group name os type sku and all these things so i am going to use all this thing in my uh, like as a uh, variable group so let me go to my library here so in library you can see here three variable groups i have one is common parameter which is applicable for both the environments in my case dev and qa and uh, so if i go to common parameters so client id client secret custom emails docker things so all these things remain same for all the environments so these are common variables you can store here and for dev environment like i want uh, auto scale name is like dev hyphen auto scale so environment specific things you can cre uh, create in a separate variable group you can also mark this secret as a these values as a secret as well and after creating the variable group first thing you have to do you have to assign pipeline permissions so if you can see here i have assigned this variable group dev as a python app docker which is the pipeline which we are going to use so this pipeline has the permission on this particular variable group so at least it can fetch uh, the releases so uh, fetch the data which is required so so similarly for a uh, queue environment as well so these are the environment specific variables which i have stored here now let me move to release pipeline here so you this is the artifact you have to include uh, you have to add first because these de details or these files is required for this particular environment so if i click here so you can see i have a default latest one and source is python app docker so this is about the build pipeline so whatever the artifact will be published from this particular pipeline this release pipeline will use that pipe uh, artifact for the future process now here i have a two is three four stages basically <coughs> dev qa destroy dev and destroy qa so let me go to uh, dev stage first so here i am going to use agent uh, agent pool as a azure pipeline if you have one premises <coughs> you can use like your private so i am going to use hosted one here agent specification what kind of agent you required windows or linux so i am going to use uh, ubuntu like linux based in instance and other things also which is required you can choose from here like it's a simple demo so i am not going to explain all these things like timeout uh, execution plan so all these things you can choose based on your requirement if you have any if you are going to use a uh, what is called default on premise or self hosted agent then you can also specify any if you have any demands or in the hosted also you can simply if you have any specific demand on your source code or on your new code 
next we are going to use like we are going to use here ubuntu as a agent so this particular virtual machine will be created for us in a backend now in this particular virtual machine we also need to install the terraform then only we can uh, execute our terraform configuration file on this particular box so that's why first what we are going to do we are installing the terraform on this particular agent then after installing the terraform we are extracting our the files because uh, once you install the terraform you also need the files on that particular box so we can uh, run the terraform <clears throat> so here this is the path where i have a gif file and this is a destination folder where i am just uh, cop uh, extracting all the files and this location we are going to use in our all the terraform task which we are going to use so now we have a terraform in it so when you run a terraform first you have to initialize your working directory so if you compare from your local first what you do once you create your terraform configuration file you have to initialize it you have to download all the plugins which is required for that particular based on the configuration which you have uh, written so here i am going to <coughs> install a terraform sorry initializing the terraform and this is the command and the configuration directory because in the build directory under terraform folder we have a terraform configuration file and these are the subscription detail you have to specify resource group storage account and the container so now let me go first here okay so here our storage account so terraform storage 1791 so this is the storage account i'm going to use and under this particular storage account <coughs> sorry uh, i have a container called tf state one so if i go come down so this is the container tf state one under this container dev one hyphen terraform dot tf state file will be created so this file will be your backend file backend terraform state file all the terraform resources which will be created all the data will be stored on this particular file if you lose this file your all the infrastructure will be gone in the plan file you will get to know like what all the things you are going to create and now finally we are running the terraform apply command so here nothing you have to specify the a path where you have terraform configuration file and it will execute so these task we are going till here basically we are just setting up our box to create our resources sorry till here till plan and apply it or once once it's created or your all the resources will be created for you next we have a azure app service so here app service type i am going to use a uh, bab app for container app service name registry or name space you can also parameterize these things image tag and all these things and this is the startup command like once uh, this file this docker image will be pulled on your container on your box then what the command you have to run to initialize that particular uh, docker image file so you have to run python like in my case i have uh, this file execution file and after uh, app service will be deployed next next we have a restart task so sometimes what happen it will take a lot of time to initialize the container so it always go to practice you can restart the app service so it it will basically uh, it will initialize fast so this is the dev stage and here if i'll go to variables variable groups so these are the dev variable common parameter if you can see here i have specified these variable group based on the stages which i have created so dev hyphen variable is only scoped with dev stages like dev and dev destroy and qa will be scoped with the qa and destroy qa stages and common because it is applicable for all the stages which we have so, so that's why we i have specified this variable like uh, link those uh, variable group as a stage by so you can also if i if you want to change if i'll go here change scope you can also scope variable group based on the releases also so there is an option like based on a requirement you can select these settings okay let me go to pipeline again now the same task 
similar for QA. I think I have missed one task here, app service register, rest all the things is remain same here as well. So I'm not going to explain again this QA environment because all the things are similar. And here you can see I have a pre-deployment conditions. So I have make, I am uh, added as a approval for myself. So as soon as the dev environment, dev stage will be completed, the it will queue to the QA and dev hyphen uh, underscore destroy stages. So you can basically uh, like if you want to if you don't want to use QA you can simply cancel the build or disapprove the request so it will not execute any task on the QA environment. We will see in a demo. Next we have a dev underscore destroy task. So again here the same things I am using the agent where we I need because this is a <coughs> separate box it will be created for because this is a separate stage it's so we also need to install the terraform on this particular stage on this particular box or agent then we want the all the tank tasks are same here like we are not going to use a plan and apply task we are going to use simply initializing the working directory and simply we are running the destroy tab command to delete all the resources which will be which is created with the uh, from the dev stage so all the configuration remains same just simply the command i am just changing here so okay now let me run the release pipeline here and uh, if you want to uh, make it as a complete uh, one like i have mentioned one click deployment but in this particular demo i have i have not like disabled this condition so let me run this create a new release for this if you can see here uh, i don't have any apps okay so let me first destroy this one maybe uh, the previous release is running okay it got failed due to some reason let me okay space okay <clears throat> okay let me create a new release so now you can see as soon as you create a release it will automatically uh, cure the dev stage so let me go to logs So if you can see it's first initializing the working directory then it will download the artifact which we have added. So okay it's running execution plan apply command is running here. Let me also delete this manually. Okay, let me go back here. Okay, so Terraform apply is completed. It means we already it will already created a app service for us. Let me refresh this. Okay, so now you can see we have we have where dev hyphen Python web app is running, but it's not complete. Deployment is completed completed yet. So now it will <coughs> pull the image here and it will configure the web app. Okay, so now our uh, dev stage is completed. Let me go to app service and we will see the URL here. So this is the app service application URL because we have used the output variable. So let me copy this.
so now you can see it's deployed if I'll go here sign up and uh, put any random name xyd at the rate gmail.com xyd one two three four five six seven two three four five six seven so now you can see uh, account created if I'll we'll go to here and I'll try to log in here login email does not exist okay let me log out let me refresh it okay for some reason i am not able to uh, log in okay let me do one thing let me again okay now you can see login this is my dash note like it's some simply a node application and i'll add it now uh, we'll go xyd okay for some reason it's not working uh, uh, i will see okay, let me try one more time xyd Okay, let me check another account. Okay, just give me a moment. Let me see what is happening with this application. So to check the logs, what you can do here, go to app service and uh, go to logs. I mean, you can also see from overview page itself if you configured the. Uh, log analytics workspace then you can also check from there i can see here from live live log streams as well so it's connecting okay so container is already ready to serve the request okay logs looks fine okay let me try one more time Let me sign up one more account. Ad at the rate gmail dot com. Ad one two three four five six seven. Now you can see it's I'm account created. Now I can add the log also. For some reasons I am not able to. This is my test note. Okay. This is my tab note note added now i'll go back to lo i'll go log out and uh, okay Okay, now you can see this is my dev note so I can log in now so that's how basically uh, we deploy the Python web app so now next thing what we will see so this is the dev stage basically I have deployed now you can see uh, after dev is completed it moved it queued the uh, QA stage and the dev underscore destroy stage so this the queue also is the same things so I'm not going to approve for QA I'm just so going to show you the dev and uh, destroy involvement so I'm just simply approve this request and let's see the logs okay one thing I forget to let me cancel it if I can so I just want to see the app settings 
के कॉन्फ़िगरेशन मे बी ओके नाउ यू कैन सी दीज ऑल द थिंग्स विच वी हैव स्पेसिफाइड इन द टेराफॉर्म कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फाइल so either uh, like you can go ahead after getting resource sets and you can manually add all those app settings details but uh, if you can add those things based on your environment or uh, in the terraform configuration itself then it will automatically add those configuration for you so now let me again retry it now will wait for a minute to complete this uh, stage so now you can see in a destroy task it's showing 0 to add 0 to change 3 to destroy so we have created three three tasks from this uh, pipeline uh, one was app service plan then we have created a uh, app service and the third one it, we we can also see what what other things it's going to destroy okay auto scale things so auto is okay i forget to show you uh, auto scroll things let me see if i get any emails okay you can see here uh, auto scroll action started so like this you will uh, get a email like old capacity one new capacity will be two so based on the configuration you will get a email as well for the alert things so our dev destroy stage is completed let me go back here and uh, refresh it now you we cannot see any app service here if if we need to see the auto scale things also so let me search for auto we don't have anything on auto scale as well so that's how basically a ci cd pipeline work and uh, so for qa stage i'm not going to uh, execute because it will remain same and i have not uh, make it as a complete uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment because i just want to show you all these things if you want you can simply add approval or you can basically from here i have uh, added as a manual trigger you can change it to the ci cd trigger as well you can see here release okay this is the release so if we go to edit and from here you can define i have disabled uh, the trigger you can enable the trigger and it will as soon as you check in your build a uh, code on a, a github it will execute the pipeline for you so that's all for today i hope uh, if you like the video do like my uh, do do like this video and subscribe my channel as well and i will mention the terraform code uh, on the GitHub and I will mention the GitHub link in the description as well. Thank you so much. See you in next video.